Just be yourself. But don't lie. You're a very bad liar. Riley! Harper. This is Abby. Abby is my orphan roommate. We, I am an orphan, but we live together as friends. Um, like acquaintances. Oh, please stop. Yeah. There's so many queer stories on screen that end in tragedy. But this movie has a happy ending, which like we kind of know from the trailer, which is great. No, no super holiday awfulness. Um, why, what do you think that means for sort of the queer film canon? Because they often just end in such, such awful stories. <laughs> um, Kristen, maybe you can go first. Yeah, I mean, there is uh, sort of an unavoidable amount of anxiety and like fear in a regular queer experience, like just growing up, even, it, even in the best scenarios, like such as my own, which is really the only one I should speak to or from, which is like, I was fine. I have my coming out wasn't so traumatic for me. It was like, um, really only I can identify any type of like, kind of, um, uh, like I have to be kind of broadly retrospective to identify like, like real, like shame and sort of like fear and anxiety in my own life in regards to my sexuality. I've had a really lucky time, but at the same time, like it is, much more than somebody who's just like completely comfortable being like, yeah, I like him. It's just, it's so much, it is a lot scarier to do, blah, blah, blah. Basically case in point, it's really nice to watch a movie that you get to completely rid yourself of that, knowing that like you can laugh at that experience and that catharsis, knowing that what you're getting is an earned happiness. It's like, you get to laugh at these like weird fears of like, saying the wrong thing around someone's family, like not being able to lie very well. So like, maybe they're gonna know I'm gay, even though I haven't said I'm gay, they're gonna know it, they're gonna feel it. They're not gonna like it. They're gonna judge it. They're gonna embarrass me about it, whatever. It's like watching that and laughing at it is the best way to like release it. Um, yeah. Mackenzie, what do you think? I mean, your character had a, had a tough coming out story and like there's, you know, a part of the audience has gotta be like, just do it already. But like, no, she had some deep yeah. shit to go through. I mean, I felt like that when I first read the script, I was like, whoa, should we age her down or pretend I can play 25? Because like, sh is this too, um, I don't know, is this relatable that she would come out that late? And I don't, I don't, I mean that just as speaking from my own ignorance and being like, this should have already happened instead of, you know, no matter when somebody comes out or what their life looks like and that, you know, she's with this seemingly sort of liberal leaning family that you would think there'd be such an ease such an, an easy transition into to her you know closet itself and and then into her out self but there's just dynamics that we can't really appreciate until if you're not the one living them and I, I I love that about this movie that even though it's frustrating to see her not be brave sometimes you want her to be big and bold and brave that her story is treated with as much dignity and respect as the story that Dan tells about his coming out or who plays John in the movie everybody knows who Dan Levy is um or he's just or, Dan in the movie I think yeah, <laughs> yeah no one's calling him John <laughs> uh or Kristen Abbey's story that they're all treated as valid experiences and there isn't this you know monolithic one that is okay and then the others are bad stories you know I mean bad bad ways to come out 